In the year of 1956, a young lad named Ricardo Zhao, at the age of seven, found himself in the bustling city of Hong Kong. Fresh from the Philippines, he was new to the city's hustle and bustle. The towering classical buildings, the streams of workers, and the hustle of human-powered and motorized vehicles. But amidst this new world, a familiar figure stood as his anchor, his adopted father, Mr. Zhao Yao, a man of discipline and routine who every morning at half past eight would leave for work, bound for the grand headquarters of the Overseas Trust Bank at ground floor of Prince's building at Ice House Street. The Overseas Trust Bank, or OTB as it's commonly known, was a brainchild of Chong Ming Tian and others, including Mr. Zhao Yao. At this time, the bank was celebrating its first anniversary, and it was on one such regular morning that Zhao Yao brought Ricardo to accompany him to work. This day marked Ricardo's first journey on the Star Ferry and his first step into the heart of the city. As they entered the majestic Prince's Building, home to the OTB Bank, a burly doorman quickly pulled open the glass doors, greeting them with a respectful nod. Inside, about 30 male and female staff members stood in unison, greeting them with warm smiles. Ricardo was introduced to the team, and then to two senior colleagues who shared the same last name as Wong. One was Wong Sik Bun, the supervisory director of the bank, and the other was Wong Hark Lap, the director and manager of the bank. The two Wongs were friendly and engaging, showing genuine interest in Ricardo's life. But it was Wong Sik Bun who left the most profound impression on Ricardo. He was a man of many words and quick wit, who endearingly nicknamed Ricardo the Black King. It turned out that Ricardo's uncle and Wong Sik Bum had been friends for many years, with a friendship so deep that Wong Sik Bun had been aware of Ricardo's adoption long before it took place. Together, they had a silent agreement to nurture Ricardo, providing him with opportunities to meet and interact with other children of their social circle. Ricardo spent many a holiday at Wang Sikbun's home on Jardine's Lookout and Wang Ying Kao's home on Wing Hing Street in North Point playing with their grandchildren. This allowed him to form a close bond with the Wang family, especially with the five grandchildren, namely Peter Wang Hing Kwai, William Wang Hing Kwok, Wang Hing Bong, and Wang Hing Yi. These were the happy days that punctuated his childhood, memories of which he cherishes even today after more than 56 years. Wong Sik Bun was a self-made man who had made his fortune through hard work and thrift. He dominated the Hong Kong market by operating and representing American mobile oil and petroleum businesses. He was also the Hong Kong Comprador for the Bank of Tokyo. In the mid-50s, he partnered with Thai Chinese tycoon Chen Butt Sun, the grandfather of Hong Kong celebrity Chen Ji Si, and Zhao Yao to establish Asia Insurance. He and Zhao Yao were not just business partners but also the best of friends. Yet amidst these fond memories, a somber event casts a shadow. In 1959 and 1961, Wang Sikbun and his son, Wang Ying Kao, were kidnapped in what would become known as the Three Wolves Case, or the Dual Wang Case a high-profile incident that shook Hong Kong to its core. The story of Ricardo Tsao, his uncle, and the Huang family is a poignant tale of friendship, ambition, and resilience against the backdrop of the dynamic city of Hong Kong and the rise and fall of the Overseas Trust Bank.